So the final signs we're going to review are blood pressure and SpO2 or pulse oximetry. So the next thing we'll do is get a blood pressure. Now this isn't always as easy as just slapping on a cuff and hitting start on an automated machine. Sometimes we have to take it manually. So first things first, patients should be upright, legs uncrossed, and arm at heart level. Then you want to make sure you have the right size cuff. Wrap the cuff around their arm and look at those range markings. If you need to, get a different size. Then you're going to palpate for the brachial pulse on the inside of their elbow and wrap the blood pressure cuff around their arm with the indicator line pointing to that brachial artery. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Now you can add the meter or the sphygmal manometer where you can see it and then you're going to want to put on your stethoscope and place your stethoscope diaphragm over the brachial artery. Now make sure that the valve on the bulb inflator is closed and then you're going to want to inflate the cuff by squeezing the bulb until you can't hear the brachial pulse anymore, which on average is usually between 160 and 180 millimeters of mercury. Or you can inflate to about 30 to 40 millimeters of mercury above the patient's baseline blood pressure if you know it. Then you're going to carefully open the valve very slowly and begin deflating the cuff at about 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second. As the pressure drops, you're going to start hearing a boof sound. That's the pulse. So take note of the pressure at that moment when you hear it the first time. That is the systolic blood pressure. Keep deflating until the pulse sound fades and you don't hear it anymore. At that point, it is your diastolic pressure. Just be careful that you're not just watching the needle bounce. It won't be accurate that way. It has to be what you hear. So next thing we're going to do is our pulse oximetry. Big thing you want to do is make sure your patient's fingers are nice and warm. You can even wrap them in a warm towel if you need to because you need good circulation. And also, we don't want them to have nail polish on. Just apply the probe with the red light on top of their fingernail. You should get a result in about five seconds, and that's the number you're going to document. If you're still having trouble with circulation, you can try a different hand, a toe, or you can even use probes for ears and noses as well. Last but certainly not least, document your vital signs. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.